With applications becoming more and more critical, the way that we protect these tier one workloads needs to change. This is where Veeam CDP comes into play. This is all about lowering RPOs to seconds instead of minutes. With that, let's take a look and see how Veeam Backup and Replication can offer low RPOs for your tier one workloads. And let's start off by showing how easy it is to configure the filter drivers to enable CDP on the source and target vCenter. So if we click on Manage IO Filters, we'll see that the clusters within that vCenter will load up. Now importantly here, when we install this at the cluster level, it'll be installed to every host on the cluster. So as hosts move in and out, they will have the filter driver either installed or removed. Once that's been installed, let's go and have a look at the policies. So here you can see we've got a couple of CDP policies in play. One for an RPO of 15 seconds and one for an RPO of 60 seconds. If we look at the policy that is looking at the 60 second RPO, we can see how this is configured. Up first, the options that you see here are similar to what we have for existing snapshot based replication. In terms of selecting the virtual machines on which to protect under the CDP policy, I've selected vSphere tags. Next, we select the destination host. So here you can see that I've selected a particular host, this could be a cluster as well, the resource pool, the VM folder, and then the data store. As we click through, this is where we select the source and destination proxy. We give it a replica suffix. And here we have an infrastructure assessment, which will look at the source and target proxy hardware and make sure that we're able to satisfy the RPOs. Next, we select the schedule. And over here, we have the RPO set for 60 seconds for eight hours. So what this is saying here is that for every eight hours, let's take a point in time every 60 seconds. We can set that by a schedule as well if we wanted to not follow that for any particular reason. And we also have reporting, which will give us a warning or an error if the RPO is exceeded by two or three seconds in this case. Next, we have long-term retention. And this is more traditional sort of backup for the VM. So every 24 hours, let's create a snapshot and hold that for seven days. And this can be done on a schedule as well. In terms of guest processing, we can enable application aware processing. Once this is configured, the replication jobs will start. And you'll see here under running tasks, we have all of those workloads being replicated under the policy that they are configured with. Now protecting those tier one workloads in seconds instead of minutes. For more info, head to veeam.com.